during our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about auto steer and autonomous tractors and why they're needed in agriculture. Our grandpa Hefty was famous for having crooked rows out in his fields because he was always worried about something going wrong on the planter, so he was constantly turning around, and every time he turned around, he brought that steering wheel with him, and it made for a little zigzag in his row all the way through his field. So you might think, Farmers do such a great job today. Man, can farmers drive straight. Those roads look amazing, but in many cases, it's due to new technology called auto steer. All right, and quite frankly, I don't really care if the row is perfectly straight or not in a lot of cases, but let me just give you an example off our farm. We like to go out in the fall with strip till and place our fertilizer there, plus make the seed bed for the spring. Well, when we come along in the spring, if our rows don't match up exactly with the strip till rows, we lose yield. That's not a good thing. So that's a reason why we like having the auto steer in both operations so everything follows exactly right to the line. But the number one thing that I would say about auto steer is it's reduced fatigue. Operators are finding they can go an extra hour or two every day. And I realize this seems a little nuts if you work an eight to five job or something, but a lot of farmers do work 16, 18, 20 hours a day when they have to go in the spring, in the fall, or maybe even in the summer. And having that auto steer really reduces their fatigue and it decreases accidents out in fields. Well, it also allows farmers not to have just their very best operator doing every single job on the farm because many farmers want to teach their kids how to do things or they want to bring grandpa back to run the tractor in the fall for a few days. Well, now with auto steer, you can put almost anybody in the cab if they know how to run the systems and they can still drive right down the rows just perfect. Now, when it comes to the autonomous tractors that you've probably seen some videos of or some pictures of these tractors that have no cabs, um, look, I don't know if that's exactly Exactly the way it will go in the future. Personally, I think we might have cabs even on the autonomous tractors. We'll see what happens. But all I know is when we are out in big fields, boy, it would be real easy to have another tractor out there running with us that we could control. So if I'm driving a tractor and I'm controlling another tractor that's running near me, that'd be pretty nice. I could get a lot more work done every day. Now, one thing you may be thinking is, wow, I did not realize how high tech farming is becoming. That's true. The other thing you may not have realized is how many many dollars it costs to put some of these systems in tractors and combines and trucks. So it's not free for farmers to do this, but it certainly gives them some options to help better manage their farms. Well, once again, there is a lot of need for these technologies and we are seeing a lot more auto steer and eventually we believe we'll see autonomous tractors on the farm too. Be a little weird when you're driving past those in the fields if they have no cabs, but that's what's going on in terms of that technology in our fields. All this technology is nice, but will it help us control our weed of the week? We'll talk about this week's weed coming up later in the show.